The man of God, the Archbishop Benson Etahosa, had just dedicated his church auditorium, which at that time was said to be the largest church auditorium in Africa, when news went around that the whole association of witches in the world held a meeting in Chicago and decided to have their first world conference in Africa. Specifically, they would have their meeting in Nigeria, and they chose Benin City as their venue. The chief host of the witches granted a network interview, announcing that a universal witchcraft meeting was to hold in Nigeria. On hearing this, Etahosa announced that it was not true. The press asked Etahosa, what do you mean by, it's not true? Etahosa replied, they cannot come, because I'm going to kill all of them. The press asked the chief host what he had to say to that. He said, not even God can stop this meeting. The press conveyed this message to Etahosa to which he replied, he's correct. Why? The press marveled. Because God shouldn't waste his time, I'm here. Etahosa said in his usual bold manner. Etahosa said to God, God, do your business, leave this one to me, I can handle this. The archbishop asked, how many are the widths? They replied, 9,800. Good. Etahosa said. The media personnel came to Etahosa's house and told him, Dr. Etahosa, you're taking a risk, be careful. He replied, people who take care don't take charge, and people who take charge don't take care. And my Bible tells me, be careful for nothing. After Etahosa remained persistent on his stand, a TV program was arranged where he would meet face to face with the chief host of the Witchcraft Conference. When they were on air in a live program, the moderator asked the chief host, Are you really sure you're bringing 9,800 witches from all over the world? The moderator got a resounding yes. He then asked Etahosa, are you sure you are going to be able to stop this conference of wizards and witches? It is not that I am going to stop it, I have stopped it. The archbishop replied emphatically. After a long duel of words, in which the chief wizard first quoted from several mystical books such as books of Moses, Egyptian hieroglyphics, Jewish scrolls, Indian Maharaj and some British writings, and the archbishop read some scriptural verses from the Bible, the archbishop asked how many minutes he had left, and he was told, just five. He replied, fine, it is time for somebody to report to his maker. Of course, there was no little pandemonium in the studio with everyone thinking of what was to happen next. Etahosa continued, I just need an answer from you, and your life is hanging on your answer. A witch is not supposed to live, and I intend to kill you now if you are one. Now answer me and this large viewing audience in one or two words, are you a wizard? Just answer, yes or no. I am not, he replied. What did you say because I am ready to pray, Etahosa prompted him. I said, I am not a wizard, the visibly frightened man repeated. After his response, Benson Etahosa then ordered him to leave the studio, and the chief host without any other choice, quickly walked out to the relief of many in the studio. It was later reported that the chief host came to Bishop Etahosa's office and requested for a Bible, though he still insisted that the meeting will hold. But in the day of the intended program, the conference didn't hold. Archbishop Etahosa then met with the President General Ibrahim Badamosi Babanjida in Lagos and told him, As you are aware, I told the whole nation that the Conference of the Witches would not hold in this country, and you can see that it did not hold. The President replied, Yes, when I saw you and that fellow defending your beliefs and positions, I sent telex to all our embassies not to allow even one witch or wizard into Nigeria, they were all denied visas. Let's listen as the Archbishop himself speaks concerning this. Three years ago, Pastor Him. All the witches in the world met in Chicago. 
to hold their first conference in Africa. You know where they want to hold it? My city. My city. And their chief host granted the network interview and said the first universal conference of witches and wizards is going to hold in Benin. And I said, what? Where? They said, where I live. So I said, it's not true. Everybody says, it's not true. I didn't hear you. It's not true. One more time. It's not true. And the press said, what is not true? I said, they can't come. They said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to kill all of them. <laughs> and they called the chief host and said, Dr. Inahosa said, you can't hold the meeting. He said, not even God can stop it. I'll bring you the newspaper. He said, not even God can stop it. And the press said, listen to what this man said. He said, not even God. I said, he's correct. They said, he's correct? I said, yes. They said, why? I said, because God shouldn't waste his time. I'm here. This one to me. I can handle this. And I said, How many are they? He said, 9,800. So I said, Good. Everybody said, Good. Yeah. I love challenges because challenges are scaffolding to higher height in faith. It's time for people to find out who you are in Orlando. It's time for people to know that God put you here in Orlando. If they cannot tell by your clapping, by your dancing, they can tell by your fire. Did you hear me? If they don't know who you are because you sing in the choir, because you pay your tithe, they can know who you are when you raise the dead. Everybody say, fire come, fire, come say fire, come fire, come down. Say, fire, come down. And the media men came to my house. They said, Dr. Idahosa, you are taking a risk. I said, what? They said, be careful. I said, People who take care don't take charge. And people who take charge don't take care. For my Bible says, be careful for nothing. <laughs> but by prayers and supplication, make your request known to God. And they said, are you ready to face the camera to tell the whole nation what you are saying? And which I call this man, I said, call two of us. And they brought him to the studio, and they brought me to the studio. And the anchor man said, gentlemen, I don't want anyone to die among you. <laughs> Chief host, are you really sure you are bringing 9,800 witches from all over the world? He said, yes. Dr. Idahusa, are you sure you are going to stop the meeting? I said, I'm not going to stop it. I've stopped it. I have stopped it. He said, are you ready? We want to grant you one hour to tell us how strong your God is and you tell us how your witchcraft is. He said, I'm ready. And I said, fine. But at the end of this program, you let me pray because I'm going to kill him.
And they brought us to the camera. And they asked him, <laughs> I said, they asked him, tell us how strong witches are. And he told us. For 27 minutes, he quoted from the Old Testament, from 6 or 7 book of Moses, from Egyptian books, from Israeli book, from British book, from Magical book. And they said to me, did you hear him? I said, yes. They said, what do you say? I said, I have nothing to say. The meeting is canceled. <laughs> they said, why? And I opened my Bible. No divination spirit. No incantation spirit. She has turned the presence of the righteous. And I began to quote from Leviticus to the New Testament. And at the end, I said, how many minutes more? They said, five. I said, it's time for me to kill this man. <laughs> I said, sir, just answer me one word, and I kill you. And everybody began to panic. <laughs> As they say, yes or no, are you a witch? He said, no. I said, get up. If you say yes, I kill you. But if you are not, he said, I'm not. Stood up in the studio, network news. I said, if you had accepted your will, I kill you. The next morning, he came to my office to collect the Bible. And they still met him. The media left us and they still went to his house. Will the meeting hold? Yes. Seven days more. Three days more. Will the meeting hold? Yes. And they came to me. Are you sure the meeting is canceled? I said, no comment. If the meeting hold, I set fire in my Bible. It's canceled. What I bind on earth is bound in heaven. And they said, what is your power? I said, my power is in the Bible. Whatsoever you lose on earth is lose in heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. And they said, but two days more. I said, don't waste your time. The next morning, I went to the president's office. And I said, I've told the whole nation, and you are aware, that there's no meeting of the witches and wizards. He said, the day you were on TV, I sent telex to all the embassies in the world not to allow one wizard to come to Nigeria. <laughs> today, today, the constitution of Nigeria is the only constitution I know in the whole world where it is written. No man should practice witchcraft. Because of what I said, they put it in the constitution. You cannot practice witchcraft in Nigeria. What you bind on earth can be bound in heaven. If I be a man of God, let Fire come down from heaven. It's time for the church to know whom they are. Say, I'm a man of God. Say, I'm a man of God. If you're a woman, say, you're a woman of God. Are you there? If you know your right in Christ, every demon in Orlando will be afraid of you. Yeah.